<laughs> Hi, welcome back to Lilac Oaks Farm. My name is Renee and today we are going to be doing some pruning over here. So let's go have some fun. So when we first got here, we didn't even know these grapes existed. There was no sign except that there was a fence line with a trellis up high. That was in winter. So when the spring thaw happened, all we saw was this garden area littered with cardboard. This was actually smothering the root systems for these plants. So we removed it all. We found out we had grapes, rhubarb. There was blueberry, was raspberry, and was some blackberry. Since then, I have been on a mission to try to save the grapes. We had to make a makeshift arbor, which over the next few years, we're going to make a bigger one for the grapes. I have been working with the nutrients, the duck pool water, giving them that every time it starts from spring until fall. That's all they get twice a week, lots of nitrogen. And they get these little sticks. You can bury it and put it on, in the ground a little way from the root systems. When you water them or it rains and the water comes through, it'll bring nutrients, which is another great way to fertilize. This year, the grapes should be even sweeter with all the drought that has been going on. And then now we got rain. And you cannot get any fresher than this right off your own vine. How do you make fresh grape juice at home without a machine? using either store-bought grapes or vine-ripened fresh grapes. Well, you will need a few tools and a lot of elbow grease. The first tool is a jelly strainer. I'll put a link in the description box below for where you can get one of these. All it is is you put your grapes in here and the juice will run out and go right into your bowl, quick and easy. The second and third thing is cheesecloth or tea towels. These are kind of the same thing as the jelly strainer. You just put the solids in and you just squeeze it. You're gonna be using a lot of elbow grease here. You're gonna squeeze it to get all those juice out into your bowl. The end process of making this fresh grape juice will be to water bath can for later use. And on that note, let's get juicing. Before we begin making our juice, I would highly, highly suggest to wear some ratty shirt or a apron and a ratty shirt because I've had the grape juice go through my apron onto another piece of clothing before. The first step is we're going to wash our grapes. I'm just going to use my bag that it's in and I'm just going to start destemming and removing all the good grapes. Whatever's bad is just going to stay in the bucket. After I'm done going through them all, then I will wash them again to make sure I got everything off. Step two is you get a non-reactive pot, put your grapes in it, and then put enough water in just to cover. And then you're going to turn it on and we're going to run it about 190 degrees Fahrenheit. It's the temp you want and you want to keep it there for 10 minutes minutes. So now that the grape juice is done, I've got it here cooling just a little bit while I'm getting everything else ready. So I have a bowl. I'm going to put my a little sieve in here and I'm going to use a cheesecloth. For those who do not have the jelly strainer, it's still a little warm. There is steam. So we're going to just put this in. So all I do is try to squish out all the juice. I want all the solid to stay in. Now you can keep this pulp and seeds if you wanted to make grape jam because grape jam requires the pulp, not the seeds. I did not dampen this cloth. You can, but I do know for the jelly strainer it is suggested to dampen. Is what it's like to use a cheesecloth. It just takes a little bit, but you can still get the same process. It's the same as even using the 
strainer. I have got my jelly strainer out. I have wet the bag. They suggest you wet this. And now we're just gonna take some grapes and we're just gonna load up the bag. Now it's still a little warm, so I can't, I'm having a hard time even squeezing it. If you are new here to Lilac Oaks Farm, we are all about homesteading, farming related things. What can you do with what you grow? You can preserve, you can bake, you can cook, you can even grow your own food, whether it's plant or animal. We are all about sharing and showing what you can do with what you grow. So hit that like button and help us grow too. And we are for day two of the grape juice. The grape juice has sat for 24 hours, so all the sediment should be at the bottom. Before we begin to finish processing our grape juice, we need to prep our water bath canner, which I've already done. Now that our canner is started, we can finish the last bit of straining. We need to strain the juice again to make sure we get out any bits that we missed yesterday. We are going to finish straining into another non-reactive pot and went right through the cheesecloth. So this is all you're going to do is strain all this again to make sure there's no more sediment. <laughs> It is time to turn up the heat to high and we're going to process them for 15 minutes once it comes to boil. And you cannot get any fresher than this. Harvesting your own fruit and then canning it for later use. It's like having your own grocery store in your own house. Being able to preserve stuff that you have grown or if you're able to buy it from a farmer's market. If you would like to watch how I made grape jelly using this grape juice, you can click here. I will see you over there.